How many of you here need a touch in your body? You know, just a touch in your body. Yeah, I think we all do that. Especially when you get older, huh? You need a touch in your body. But you know, well, Pastor Harold Malise says something. And how many people know Pastor Harold? He's getting ready. He's going to have surgery. If you know Pastor Harold, he has, he has tremors. If you see Pastor Harold, he has tremors. And he'll tell you that the tremors are from years of abusing his body with, you know, alcohol and drugs. And, and that's, his, that's his testimony, so I'm not, I'm not talking on him, you know. And he's going to have this, this, this surgery where they're going to drill holes in his head. Like you ever say, like, I need that, like I need a hole in my head? He's going to get two of them. And uh, they're going to put this device in him that whenever he starts trembling, the device is going to, like, send a little jolt. And, and he's really looking forward to that. He's, Harold's, like, 70. But he said something one time. He said, you know, getting old, we always talk about getting old, how we aches and pains. But he said, you know what? Getting old is a blessed thing. Because as we grow and we learn about the Lord, well, let me put it like this. It can be a blessed thing. <laughs> As we, as we grow and learn about the Lord and learn about his faithfulness. Sometimes he brings healing and sometimes he, he gives us grace. Sometimes he lets us find favor in the eyes of authorities and sometimes he gives us grace. He's always there no matter what the situation. He's always there. Healing in your body, working out situations, stuff going on in your life problems. I talked a week or so ago at the high rise about a thorn in the flesh. How many people got a few thorns stuck in their flesh? Some of them thorns have names, you know. Some of them don't. But you know, a thorn is never comfortable. Paul, when he talked about, and this is my message, but when Paul talked about the thorn in the flesh, he didn't say what it was. He didn't say what it was. He just left you to fill in the blank. Let's pray. For all these needs. And, and later, if the Lord so leads, we will pray. But we want to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. There are those who have made their needs known unto you this morning. And there are those who maybe perhaps have not said it out loud. But you know each and every person. I thank God that you're a personal God. You're a personal Jesus. You know us. You know when we stand up and sit down. You know what goes through our minds, Father. You know when we're hurting. You know when we're afraid. Father, your word says that we can turn to you. That we can call upon you. Your name is a strong and mighty tower. Your name is a shelter like no other. Your name is above all things. Father, I pray for those who have spoken these requests for healing in their bodies. In the name of Jesus. Father, for these situations that are out of our hands right now. Father, we, we ask you to be the judge. That you would, we would find favor in your sight. That you would move upon doctors and judges and lawyers and all these people to do these things. Father, we're calling upon you. We are helpless, but you are almighty. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your healing touch on each and every one in this place this morning. As we look into your words, we prepare to partake of your table. Father, I pray, Lord, you would allow your presence to be made manifest in our presence, Father, in the name of Jesus. We know you're here because two or more are gathered, Father, so we know that you're here. We know that you dwell inside of us. Your Holy Spirit dwells inside of us. I pray, Lord, you would manifest your presence with peace, the peace of God that passes understanding, in the name of Jesus. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen.